Hey, in this quick video, I want to uh, point out a button uh, called Tessimate in the Geometry uh, Tools uh, tab, right? So this is one of those things that most uh, new users probably wouldn't look into just because it's kind of uh, buried in there. But let's take a look and see what that button does. So what that uh, button actually does is it will divide your model into triangles versus zero mesh or where it, where it does quads. So if you are creating uh, something that is requires super low poly, maybe for a mobile game or whatever reason, maybe you have thousands of rocks and you want them to be really, really low poly, well, Tessimate, Tessimate is a great option. So for example, if I try to dial this and you can see that the current topology um, has 27,000 points. If I try to dial this, um, you can see that it starts to break it down. And if I go keep going up, you can see that um, ZBrush will give you less and less try. So like this is only 21. It's useless because this doesn't hold any shape. But let's say you needed something super low poly. Uh, this would be a quick, cool way, only 76 tries to get to that place. You can of course then move uh, use the move brush to kind of sculpt it and make it something uh, useful, right? So let me turn off the polyframe and you can see what that looks like. So just another tool uh, to create something that's super low poly. Another way uh, you could use this is, for example, if you grab a sphere, let's grab this Dynamesh sphere, and let's say you want to quickly create a rock out of this. Well. If you uh, try this method, it's really interesting. Let's turn on our polyframe on and just turn up the Tessimate. And we can break this down to like a base mesh, right? So let's say this is 47 tries. Now I can again grab my move brush and just um, quickly sculpt maybe a shape of some kind of a rock, right? Something that's semi-interesting and seemingly random. Um, and you can see in like three seconds, I have something that could be used uh, as a decent space rock or any kind of rock right in the game or if you wanted to um, for example let's turn this off um, another thing I could do is I can use this to create a base mesh that then could be sculpted further for like a mountain so for example if I uh, go into dynamesh mode from this and then do like a polish you can see, let's polish it even more. You can see how I quickly created really interesting base mesh, which now I can uh, sculpt on even more, right? So I can grab, uh, maybe let's grab this orb brush and turn the intensity and you, you know, I can bring in, I can start creating detail in the rock. So just a really interesting way, another option to quickly create uh, shapes, or if you needed to again, use it for uh, super low poly. So you could do both. I just wanted to kind of point this out. Honestly, I don't use Decimate too, too much, but now uh, since I'm playing with it, I think I will. I think there's a couple situations where that could be useful. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next video.